Hey everybody. So in this video, we're gonna build a scalable serverless chat application using Vue.js and Chat Engine. For those who don't know, Vue is a trending JavaScript framework for building web applications. And Chat Engine is an API for adding chat functionality into web apps easily. Together, they can build a fully functional chat application that can handle over 100,000 users. So this is without a doubt the most complete chat app tutorial on YouTube for Vue.js. Let me demo the app now. So when you log in or sign up, the user is fetched from the database along with their chat histories. And this is real-time chat, meaning any new messages appear immediately for other users in their UI. And this chat has a whole lot more, like image and file support, mobile and desktop UI support, read receipts, the ability for group chats and one-on-one -on -one chats, basically the whole nine yards. So we'll walk through setting up your development environment, creating the web UI, and connecting it to Chat Engine. By the end of the tutorial, again, you'll have a fully functional chat app, which could handle like over 100,000 users. I'll also be sharing the code in the description, which will let us move quickly and easily. So with that in mind, let's get started. Now, one thing to note before we get started is all of the code and steps can be found from this blog article here which is the first link in the description of this video. Now, step one is setting up a Vue.js project with Vue.js. Vue.js allows you to stand up Vue projects very quickly and iterate very quickly. So we'll use that now. Copy the first command. Go into a project or an area in your computer that you wanna stand this project up, in my case, desktop, and just paste npm create v at latest. And then follow the steps within the prompt. I'm gonna use Vue, I'm gonna use vanilla JavaScript, and we're done. So then CD into serverless chat. And you can use code dot or just drag and drop that folder into your IDE, preferably VS code. And we're good to go. The next thing that we need to do is install all of the dependencies within package JSON. So to do that, open up your terminal and run npm install or just npm i. This will generate everything now. There are also a few additional dependencies that we'll need to bring into this project. We'll need to bring in Axios because that will let us call Chat Engine for their API calls. We'll need React Chat Engine Pretty, which is the UI that Chat Engine can provide for chat interfaces. And then Viewery, Viewery? which allows you to make React components compatible with Vue.js. So let's install these three dependencies now. Last but not least is we're gonna have to change the structure of our source folder to just have an authentication page and a chats page. So step one is to remove the components directory. Step two is to make a folder for auth page and chats page. So you can create a new folder, call one auth page, and we create another one called chats page. And within each of these folders, we're gonna have to set up a view component. So within chats page, do index.view, and we'll make the same file with an auth page. And actually in auth page, we're gonna create another file called api.js, which will make our API calls to Chat Engine. And that's it, we're done. So now we have a view project set up and we're gonna have an auth page and a chats page within this project. Now that we have our project set up, let's actually start writing the code to make this authentication page and this chat, chats page come to life. In this next section, let's add the code to our view project that will at least set up the auth page UI. Now I'm going to copy and paste a handful of code and explain the code as we put it into the application. So first, let's take the following code and put it into src slash app dot view, which is our main view component and click save. Now, what this code does is it imports the auth page or the chats page, and we render the auth page if the user currently doesn't exist, and we render the chats page if that user exists in our application state. Now, if we render the auth page, once a user logs in or signs up, 
we trigger this handle auth function, which essentially assigns the user to the user state. And once that user is in the user state, we render the chats page and we pass in that user's username and secret as props for later. Now, clearly we don't have an auth page and we don't have a chats page. So let's add the code for the auth page and we'll add the code for the chats page too. So let's remove the slash pages because we don't have that in our structure. And to start with chats page, let's just create an empty template so that this app will compile. And we'll do the same with auth page. Now, we'll actually import a lot of the view code for the auth page right now. So let's just do that. This is it right here. So just copy it all in and I'll explain it afterwards. Okay. So the auth page is about a hundred lines of code, but it's actually really easy to understand. All we do is we have a template that has a login form and a sign up form. Now the login form just takes the user's username and password and the sign up form will take the username, the password, the email, the first name and the last name of this user. Now when the login function or the sign up function is called, we will be implementing a REST API that will authenticate the user or register the user respectively. Now we don't have this code written yet because we haven't made any API calls to chat engine, but we'll do that in the next section. But we have all the code we need for now. So what you can do is do npm run dev, and this should run the app locally on port 5173. Now, if you go into your browser and you run that, you should see an app that looks like the following. Now, the last thing I wanna mention is that this tutorial gives us a bunch of CSS code, which we can also copy and paste into the main style.css file. So if we just replace it all with that code, click save, our UI should look a whole lot prettier. Perfect. So now we have a login form and a sign up form that looks pretty pretty, but we don't actually connect it to any serverless framework. So in the next section, let's set up a chat engine project and use some Axios API calls to connect our login and sign up function to the chat engine platform. Now, before we set up a chat engine project, let me briefly explain why we need it. Right now, we have a view app that has a login form, a sign up form, and soon to be a chats UI. But where are these messages gonna be stored? Where are these users gonna be stored? What backend is gonna let our users know when a new message is for them? That's where Chat Engine comes in. Chat Engine is a chat API that allows you to easily add chat functionality into any web app. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sign up at chatengine.io, there's a link in the description, and create a new project. When you create a new project, Chat Engine essentially gives you your own chat server, which your users can authenticate into and access. So what we'll do is we'll copy two key values. The project ID, which will allow your API calls to specify your project, and your private key, which will let you create and destroy users on your project. So copy these two values for your own code. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the code to the auth page api.js, which will let users authenticate if they already have an account or register for a new account with the following API calls, which are documented at rest.chatengine.io. So copy this code and paste it into your application under api.js. And now that we have this code in place, we can also go into the auth page index.view and uncomment the script code that makes the API calls. Now, these API calls are pretty self-explanatory. For login rest, we send the username and the password over to Chat Engine, and if a user with this username and password combo exists in our Chat Engine project, we authenticate them with on auth. Now, for sign up, assuming the user doesn't exist yet, we give Chat Engine their username, their password, their email, their first name, and their last name. And once that call is successful, that new user data also gets passed to the on auth callback. Now, the last thing we need to do is at the top level of our project, we need to create a .env.local file, and we need to paste 
the following values inside. Now, of course, we need to replace these two values with our own. So give me a second while I do that now. And we're good to go. What we need to do now is just rerun the project. So do Command or Control C, NPM run dev. And this authentication page should be fully functional. So let me register a new user. I'll call him Zach, give him a password, an email. And this user is now signed up. And if we go into our chat engine project under users, we should see this new user, Zach, which was created when this video was recorded. So now we have a sign up and login functionality for our app. Now we just need to take these users once they sign up or log in and connect them to a chat UI and chat engine will give us all of this right out of the box. And I'll show you how. Now for the fun part and the easy part, let's implement our chat UI for this authenticated user. Now, clearly, once a user logs in or signs up, we're just rendering that empty, empty template tag that's within our chats page. So let's use an out of the box chat UI. Luckily for us, Chat Engine provides tons of them for us to choose from. So in this tutorial, let's use React Chat Engine Pretty. Now, if you go to the repo, you'll see that it's a clear midnight theme chat UI, which I've showed at the beginning of this video. There are also others to choose from, like the basic React Chat Engine or React Chat Engine Advanced if you want to get customized. Now, clearly, these components are for React, so we're going to use the Vueary library, which converts any React component into something that's Vue.js compatible. Now, once you do that, the code's actually very easy to implement for the chats page. So let's copy and paste it now. Again, let me briefly re-explain the code. So within the chats page, we just have a div, that's the entire screen. And within that entire screen, we're putting in the pretty chat window. Now, the pretty chat window is being imported from React Chat Engine Pretty, and Apply React and Vue is making this component Vue.js compatible. Now, there are two props which we're passing in, the authenticated user's username and the authenticated user's secret. So, if we pass in the project ID and that authenticated user's username and password, all of their chat histories, message histories, open chat rooms, everything's going to get retrieved and this user is going to be able to start talking to any other user on our chat engine project. The code also compiled so we can see how this looks now. So let's log in as Zach again and we'll use the same password as before. And when you authenticate, voila, you can see Zach is now on the platform. And if there are any other users, we're able to set up chat rooms with them now. And we can say, yo, yo, yo. And you can see that Zach is now messaging Adam all through the Chat Engine API platform. And we're done. So let me briefly conclude exactly what we did in this tutorial. Starting from the top, we used VJS to create a Vue.js JavaScript project. And within SRC, we removed components and we replaced it with the auth page and the chats page. Now at the top level, we render the auth page if a user doesn't exist yet, and we render the chats page if the user exists in the app state. Now within the auth page, we just have a login form and a sign up form. And when either are completed, we take their username, password, and other data and see if they exist in our chat engine project or sign them up for our chat engine project. Once either call is completed, the on auth callback triggers and we essentially assign this user to our application state. Once the user exists in our application state, the chats page renders and we pass in that user's username and secret. Now within the chats page, we're pulling in one of chat engines pre-built UIs and we're saying that within this project, there's a user with this username and this secret, render all of their chats histories, message histories, et cetera, and let them talk to any other user in our chat engine project. And we're done. 
that's how we're able to set up a serverless, scalable Vue.js chat app within about a 10 minute YouTube video. And there's a lot more room to get more advanced. If you have any questions on how to extend this functionality, make the app look different, or just anything, or the code's not working, just leave a comment and I'll be able to help any of you out very easily. Thanks for your time. Hopefully you built this app too, and you now have a full-blown chat app up and running. Appreciate you sticking with me, and uh, until next time.